Good morning, friends. Diana here from Garden Love. I'm so excited to show you guys that, as you guys saw in my previous video, we were able to add mulch into this run because these poor girls were walking around mud. They seemed pretty miserable, and um, I really wanted to do something about it, especially because we have another storm coming here on Friday. And I wanted to make sure that they were taken care of. We went ahead and added some sandbags and... Let me show you guys. I found this laying around here on the property. So I put it there to do kind of like a, like a, I don't know, rain protection. So no, so less water goes in there. And hopefully between the rocks and the sandbags, less water will be going into the run. And if it does, we do get some water in there. The mulch will at least absorb it or hopefully the water goes under it and they have something to step on other than mad mud. Somebody in our uh comments they left a message saying that they had another solution so i want to provide two options for you guys because i do have another run that i also have an issue and i don't necessarily want to add mulch into that run i'm about to show you guys what the other option is in case you guys are running into the same problem especially since we're having uh, a lot of rain right now and if you guys are in other states where you guys usually have a lot of rain you guys probably already know this and have come up with even better solutions if that's the case i would love to hear about it and leave it in the comments down below but for now these are my two options one obviously put mulch in there it definitely solved the, mo the mud issue so these girls are stepping on wood chips that also provided a few other little proteins because there was little bugs in it that usually uh, wood chips carry so let's go in to the other run and show you guys what my other option is here we are take a look at these girls and my beautiful rooster let me show you guys what we have going on here. What we have going on here is mud. <laughs> and quite frankly, it's even hard for me to walk through this and give them food. So what I'm going to do right now is give them a path to walk, including myself with these little pallets. I wish I had better ones, but I don't. So I'm just going to make these work. Whoa, it is slippery in here, sliding. So... I'm just going to provide this sort of little pathway with some pallets and hopefully that helps them as well because I don't necessarily want to have um, wood chips in here. So there we go. And I thought I, I would only need three. But apparently I need more, so I'm going to have to go get more. Thankfully, I do have more. I have no idea where these came from, but they were here on the property. I'm sure somebody gave them to us. Look at that. Ooh. Even the chain was stuck to the mud. Which I'm going to have to take a piece of that for the other. So I probably need like two more just to give them a better path so they can walk without having muddy feet and I dropped off some ham for them to eat I have to give them some food and yes yeah, so this is the second solution for muddy ru muddy runs you can create a pathway for them with pallets if you have bigger pallets obviously that would be best but I'm using okay I'm using what I have available and I'm just gonna make it work and hopefully once this rain pass, I can just remove them and give them back their dirt path where they can take their little um, dirt baths. And for now, I, even I can walk through here, which is very helpful because my Crocs are getting super dirty. I got my sock wet, so I removed it. <laughs> so yeah, let's go grab some more. I'll do that without you guys here on on the video but i wanted to share some options for you guys because i was struggling i was thankful that um someone left this in the comment and i'm so happy because now i'm able to provide uh, a way for these flock to step on without being in the mud as you can see look at the rooster he's keeping his girl safe and even he's in the mud and actually this one is not as bad as the other one at least they have the lower part of their coop <laughs> where they can go and it's dry the other coop was completely saturated as you guys were able to see on my previous video and this one um you know they're still getting some but it's not as bad as the other coop so i'm just going to provide these pallets and 
we are getting some more rain hopefully they don't get saturated and that's, that's it guys maybe i'll put another one in between the water and the food that way they can have access to it without having to step onto the mud <coughs> if they don't want to so, you know well that's it guys just wanted to make a quick video on two options i hope this was helpful to some of you um if you guys have other solutions i would love to hear about it that way i can share it with other people on my channel there is no eggs which is <coughs> understand it's completely understandable because a it's been cold b it's been raining so there hasn't been much sun for them to absorb and actually lay some eggs see they're walking around wet fee feet and coldness so it must be very uncomfortable for them and if they're uncomfortable they're obviously not going to be laying any eggs so i'm gonna try to make this uh, experience as comfortable as possible for them and hopefully we can still get some eggs um, throughout the winter um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one you guys have a blessed day